People often ask, who do you think will win the competition to dominate space? The government sector or private industry? Take for example Marvel's S.H.I.E.L.D. and Stark Industries. There's utility and a need for both. There really is no comparison. Here's why. S.H.I.E.L.D. is a fictional government agency in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with multiple goals, including the prevention of espionage and counterterrorism both on Earth and in space. One byproduct of trying to stay on top of the latest threats is having a set of cutting-edge scientists and engineers innovating new technology. On the other hand, Stark Industries was created by a former S.H.I.E.L.D. member, Howard Stark. This agency is focused on inventing and building devices with a range of customers in mind, including S.H.I.E.L.D. As you can see, S.H.I.E.L.D. directly benefits from the presence of Stark Industries, and vice versa. Stark Industries built the helicarriers used by S.H.I.E.L.D. so that S.H.I.E.L.D. can focus on the things that it does best. You can think of the space industry in the same light. People often think that government agencies are competing with private industries for their slice of the space pie, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Space exploration will never be completely in the hands of one sector or another. Generally speaking, each entity has their own motivation, and sometimes the resulting product is a mutual benefit. The government focuses on developing technologies and advances that may not have a known profitable application. Sending Voyager out into space, for example, was purely to push the frontiers of our influence outside of the solar system. In the process, technology was developed which directly benefits society and the private sector. The mouse that you used to click this video was invented in a government sector after a NASA researcher was trying to find a way to better interact with data on their computer. Researchers within NASA also used their skills to miniaturize cameras to fit on satellites, which has enormous benefits, including the tiny cell phone cameras that we all use today. Let's imagine for a moment that the Hubble Space Telescope was a Stark Industries endeavor. In order to fit their business model, they would need a way to have a sufficient return on investment, so they'd have to charge researchers to use the data and images that it receives. They may also have some ownership and interest in how the results are used and presented. You'd imagine that these images would only go to those who could afford it, which greatly limits accessibility and potential discoveries. For the cost of $1.60 a year, American taxpayers were able to pay for the actual Hubble Space Telescope to be assembled, launched, and maintained. Since it was government funded, the resulting information had no restriction and resulted in over 1.3 million observations and over 14,000 published scientific papers. So cool! These scientific endeavors may not always have a predictable practical benefit, and so the government is the best place to push the envelope of our knowledge. With that said, approximately 75% of the worldwide space enterprise is already privately funded, to include companies that provide you with your favorite TV and radio channels. The government has benefited significantly from private industry. Between 1970 and 2000, the cost to launch a kilogram to space remained fairly steady, with an average of $18,500 per kilogram. When the space shuttle was in operation, it could launch a payload of 27,500 kilograms for $1.5 billion, or $54,500 per kilogram. For a SpaceX Falcon 9, the rocket used to access the International Space Station, the cost is just $2,720 per kilogram. Thanks to the private sector, the government can continue to push the envelope of scientific discovery by focusing more on the instruments and less on the steep cost of launch. Early investment from a government agency like NASA or the Air Force can be a crucial step in the evolution of commercial space companies. A study by an investment firm focused on the space industry called Space Angels recently released a report which was focused on the relationship between the U.S. government and private space companies, with a particular focus on the impact of public funding. The report showed that early government investment significantly helps businesses, especially when they're just starting off and potential investors don't want to pay for that extra development time and effort. Once the technology is developed to a certain extent, then it looks more attractive to fund privately. This can be seen in the MCU through the development and protection of Ant-Man's suit. Hank Pym was researching pin particles in a S.H.I.E.L.D. laboratory and discovered the full shrinking and growing potential of a new specialized suit. There were attempts to take this technology, including within the organization, and this fully developed tech was eventually heisted by Darren Cross to create Yellow Jacket suit. 67 space companies received a total of $7.2 billion in investment from the government between 2000 and 2018. A whopping 93% was invested into companies dedicated to launching rockets. 
SpaceX is a great example of the benefits of early government investment. Over the first 10 years, SpaceX operated off of $1 billion, and about 50% of that money came from the government contracts from NASA. As a nod to NASA, Elon Musk publicly expressed his appreciation in 2012 after the SpaceX launched its first Dragon capsule to the International Space Station. The Department of Defense, Department of Energy, and NASA's small business program support several entrepreneurial space companies earlier in their life cycle. On average, 35 companies who receive small business funding attracted $6 in private investment for every $1 of public funding. Investment into companies like SpaceX, Boeing, and Sierra Nevada helps us to more efficiently send cargo and people to the International Space Station and ultimately helps advance our ability to develop human-rated spacecraft for paying citizens like you to travel safely into space. The SHIELD helicarrier is the MCU's parallel on how a private industry can provide useful space travel technology for government-funded needs. Captain America's SHIELD is also a Stark Industries creation for a military hero. The benefits can go both ways. So when looking at SHIELD versus Stark Industries or government versus the private sector, they are both necessary for our overall success to bring what lies beyond a little closer to home. Because space! Thanks for watching this episode of Because Space. Remember to give us a like, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell to get a notification whenever we drop a new video or go live with a show.